Hey, it's Brian. In this video, we're going to take the derivative of this function, sine times cosine times e to the x. It's a product. It's a triple product. So the regular product rule won't quite cut it here. You can do the product rule twice, just pretending that sine times cosine is one function, and then when you take the derivative of that, you'd have to use the product rule. In this video, I'm just going to show you the triple product rule. It's kind of just the natural extension of what you would expect the product rule to be. It goes like this. Let's take the derivative of the first function. The derivative of sine is cosine. And just like the regular product rule, we just copy what's, what's left. So I'll just multiply this by the cosine x times e to the x. Well, it's already cosine, so maybe I'll just say squared there. I'll skip a little step if you don't mind. And cosine times cosine is cosine squared. And then it's plus. I copy the other two functions. So I copy the sine x and I take the derivative of the second function, right? Just like the regular product rule for derivatives, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So I have negative sine times sine. I guess I'll make that squared and I'll just make this a minus. Why not? And then it's times, times e to the x. And then just like you would expect, we have copying the other two functions. So it's plus sine x, cosine x, and then we multiply by the derivative of the third function. The derivative of e to the x is itself no work at all. How nice is that? And that's really the way that this triple product rule works. Right? You take the derivative of the first and you multiply it by the other two. You take the derivative of the second, you multiply it by the other two, and then you add on the derivative of, of the third multiplied by the other two, right? It's exactly the same as the regular product rule. Now, I guess we could clean this up. I mean, I don't really want to, but here we go. <laughs> so there's an e to the x everywhere. I might as well factor that out. That's the greatest common factor. And then I've got cosine squared minus sine squared plus sine x cosine x and cosine squared minus sine squared. I believe that is a trig identity. You could definitely write that in a different way, but that's not the purpose of this video. So I think for me, this is good enough right now. This is really just to get you to see how we use the triple product rule for derivatives. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it and I hope you have a great day.